Captain America, hand over your double silver bar insignia. I am busting you down to the rank of Second Lieutenant America because your shield is so metallurgically moronic. If there's one thing I hate about Earth-19999, the version of the Earth where the Marvel Cinematic Universe takes place, duh, it's the fact that they've altered the ingredients in Captain America's giant flingable disc of decency. And note how Winghead ricochets his shield around. Newsflash, those ricochets are physically impossible. And not just because those shots are impossible, even for a computer. No, it's simple material science and basic physics, based on what the shield is supposedly made of. For the longest time, the comic book version of the shield was an alloy that combined indestructible adamantium with vibranium, a substance that can absorb all kinetic energy. But in an egregious departure from the official Marvel handbook, the new movie version of the shield is all vibranium. What's it made of? Vibranium. It's completely vibration absorbent. By the hoary hosts of Hogoth. Why? Did Fox lock up the rights to adamantium along with the X-Men franchise? Let me break it down for you in superhero squad simple terms. If there really was such a thing as energy absorbing vibranium, and if Captain America's shield was actually made from it, that shield would not rebound like a billiard ball off of a bumper. The vibranium would absorb the kinetic energy of the collision, rendering it totally inelastic. It would drop like a dead tennis ball hitting a net. No way could an all vibranium shield perform endless bad guy bopping bank shots. Spread the word and demand a fix. Maybe a timely retcon that explains this unforgivable error can still be snuck into Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. Could Captain America beat the Hulk in Ultimate Frisbee? Let me know in the comments.